Welcome back, babies. It's a little moist today, as you could probably see from those first couple clips. It's been raining all day, crazy storm last night, so all the roads are flooded. A little rain never hurt nobody, though. My hair looks whack. Don't talk about it. I need a haircut, I know. But tonight, hitting the little night market action. We're gonna go check out some street food, see what the real budget is. You know, what's the price actually looking like? What's the food actually look like? I'm gonna, you know, go out of my way to try some shit I haven't had before. Sounds like a good time. Let's do it. Okay, so we're off to a great start. Unfortunately, um, a lot of the stalls are closed at this one just because the rain and stuff, I'm guessing. Um, and I just went to get another clip and I stepped in dog shit, which is dope. But uh, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna make it happen. We're gonna go one more spot. So we made it to the second spot. It looks like more people are here, more shit's open. So let's find something we haven't tried before or something that we know we like. Mostly gonna be like a price point thing. I'm just gonna show you guys like how much food actually costs at these markets. Let's do it. can't get an actual name for what this is, so Thai sweet that's not very sweet is the only explanation I've gotten. Let's see. You're right, it's not very sweet. Those are like peanuts. Are they all different? Yeah, it's inside the same, it's the way you cook it different. It was good, it's like kind of like eating a booger, but like in a good way. Good. And chilies, of course, this Thailand. I'll count it, what's it called? This one we call Pak Mo, and this one we call Pak Kul. Alright, good to know. on the menu uh got some bugs crickets to be exact i don't know how i feel about eating chimney cricket out of all bugs but it was either that or like worms or huge grasshoppers so we went with the crickets maybe you can really see that got some other shit in there they're fried i'm pretty sure so i'm just gonna go at it dude sorry chimney They're not bad, it kind of just tastes like potato chips. Once you get around the fact that you're chewing on legs. <laughs> no more, no more, no more. Okay, so budget check so far. The dessert dumpling things were 30 baht, and then the crickets were 50, so that's 80 baht, which is like $2 American. 50 baht? <clears throat> that's a lot for bugs. I think that was a leg. I got a cricket leg in my throat. Ugh. These are probably my favorite things about all these markets is the fruit is always super bomb and there's always somewhere you can get a super dope smoothie for cheap. So I need to wash down those crickets. They really weren't that bad, but I literally have cricket legs stuck in my throat. So I need a little smoothie action, you feel me?
fruit smoothie for a grand total of 39 baht or about a dollar. This would probably be like 10 bucks in the States. Another random little fun fact about Thailand, pretty much everywhere you go, if you get a cold drink, they have these cool little bags so it doesn't freeze your fucking hands off. Granted, it's more waste, but what can you do? So I'm not much of an avocado guy, but I know a lot of the homies are in the States. Look at this son of a bitch. That's an avocado. GMO or no? What is it? I don't know the name. I have no idea. Is this a hot temperature or hot spicy? Uh, it's not spicy. It's good. It tastes like okra. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I like it. Yeah, it's like fried okra. Fuck yeah. I like that. That was bomb. This is pork for sure. I don't know how they cook it. It like looks like it's smoked. I don't know, but we were standing there waiting for this and this girl put a whole chicken out of the smoker and it looked insane. Spare ribs, they're pork spare ribs. And they're like, uh... it reminds me of something I've had before, but I don't know what it is. But these were 120 baht for like a half a rack which is 120 baht is just under $4. It's like 350, 360, something like that. So not bad. We came back for the chicken. If you know me, that it makes sense. It looks like amazing though. We got a half a chicken for a hundred baht. Like, it's fucking awesome. I haven't tried it yet, but yeah, it looks bomb. This is a ridiculous amount of chicken for three dollars. A hundred baht for half a chicken and you get a free a two gram dope baggie full of barbecue sauce. So that chicken was really disappointing. It wasn't good at all. No, 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 that was like, that was really good. And for that, for a hundred baht, I'm kind of tripping. I think I'm just gonna live off chicken now forever. For anybody that's curious and wants to come out to this spot, it's called the uh, Street Food Miami. It's in Jam Tien, it's right off the beach or Miami Street Food. I don't know how it's gonna come up on Google. I'll uh, drop a link down in the description for uh, Google map. That way if you wanna pull up, you can pull up. Maybe if you saw something that looks good or you wanna come check it out for yourself, now you know. All right, so 7-Eleven, check. I've got helmet hair like a motherfucker, don't judge me. I need a haircut bad. But I hope you guys enjoyed the content today. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of what the actual street food is like here, how much it actually costs, where you can spend your money, what you can get to eat, what there is to offer, if it's just gonna be all kinds of, you know, different stuff that you're not used to. Maybe now you know a little bit more. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content from Thailand, please consider cruising down, dropping a like, dropping a subscribe. Every little bit of interaction helps my get my content a little bit higher up in the almighty algorithm. If you are really enjoying the content and you'd like to support me and the channel financially, 
Cruise on down to the Patreon, bro. You could sign up for as little as $3 a month. You get access to some B-roll footage. You get a direct line of contact to me if you're coming to Thailand or you know doing any type of traveling and any questions that I can answer, that's the best way to do it. I do my best to keep up with uh, you know YouTube comments and everything like that, but some do slip through the cracks sometimes. So yeah, that's the best way. As always, I'll see you guys later. I love you, bye.